Honestly, there's a hundred people who want to kill me. I hope I can protect the one thing I can't live without. How much work did your imagination have to do while you're shooting this? Because there are some things that I assume are CG and you're not seeing while you're shooting. I mean, that's fine with me. I'm happy to use my imagination when I'm shooting something. But funnily enough, these days, you know, whenever you're doing anything on green screen or CGI, they, they, they make a previews of everything anyway. So they'll bring you around a small computer screen and go, this is what it's going to look like. And they've mocked up a sort of a pretty amazing version of it anyway. So you go, oh, right, oh, that's going to be incredible when, that, when that's done for real. Mm. So there's a lot of that stuff on set, access to a lot of that sort of stuff mm -hmm. on set. And Tony Stark's obviously known for his kind of wit and sense of humour. So even when you or a character is threatening him, he's still throwing out some jokes while he responds. He, I, he is, but I, th I think the great thing about Robert is he's certainly able to toe the line between being flippant and pointing out the gravity of the situation. I think a lot mm -hmm. of other action stars in the past, they do the flippant stuff and really you realise that you actually don't care about the situation because they don't care about the situation. Right. Where yes. he brings, you know, as I say, the gravity and, and the dilemma to the surface as well. Yeah. So I'd love to talk about the flashback, which is kind of in the beginning of the film, and how much fun was that to kind of play these characters at an early point in their life? Well, it was a lot of fun, really. Yeah. I mean, I guess ultimately when you play any character in a film, you, you know, you do your homework as far as what, what the backstory is, what their mm -hmm. history is, and you never usually get to play that stuff. Mm -hmm. you, you just kind of know it for yourself. So it was fun to go mm -hmm. back. And I think it was kind of late in the process, wasn't it, it that was, we did this? Yeah, it was and one so of the last things that we shot. That's right. So having done the majority of the film and then sort of go back and do this was, uh, it was satisfying. It was fun. What would you say make these characters so threatening to Tony Stark and kind of to humanity in general? With the character I play, it's a bit—it's—it's it's muddy territory because actually all she, she's doing is she's taking science and technology to the limit of where it can go, and some might say that's a very morally responsible thing to do, and some may say that, that throws up things that, you know, that we're not dealing with on a sort of human level and ethical dilemmas or a whole new set of ethical dilemmas, and that, those are all very kind of real, potent, prescient topics. And I think maybe I offer more of a threat really because of you know, what I end up using some of her uh, inventions for, you know. I'll electrify your arm. You won't be able to open your hand. Easy. See? 11 more to go.